Hey Bidgets and my fellow crackheads, welcome to the new place that I'm going to be filming for a while. I recently moved to Brooklyn because I'm currently at Tandon School of Engineering here at NYU and I never really thought I would do a room tour because I think they're kind of basic, but I've noticed that no one has done a room tour here at NYU as extra as my room. And because Tan is the only one in Brooklyn, a lot of Manhattan people try to shit on us because we're so far away, even though it's a free shuttle. So I just thought maybe I should subtly flex on everyone, show them that Tan and rooms can be just as good, if not better than yours. I'm gonna show you every single item I have and make everyone jealous. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so we're first gonna start off with my window. This is a vine that my friend Emma gave me. She cut a piece of it off. I think I'm just gonna call it V2. These are two air plants and I have to leave it here because it has to get a bunch of shade. And this is my cactus that you saw from my previous video. But as you can see, all my other plants are gone because they're upstairs for a good reason. Don't mind my nails, my friend wanted me to paint them. These are all my essential oils for my diffuser right here. I have vanilla, lemongrass, lavender, and rose. Here's the air conditioner. I use it to dry my beauty blender. This is a glossy brush. Back here you have my ring light, my drying rack, and my canvas for painting. Next up we have my whole desk area. As you can see I've done a bunch of string lights all around my whole room. There's a bunch of Polaroids on there and I'm busy filling up this side. So I have all my art supplies and this is an X-Acto knife. Yeah! This is a solid air freshener. It's lemon scented, of fucking course. This is my Bold and Brass Shrine and this is its cousin and it's like Gucci and Walmart. This happened at a Bob and Ross paint night here, but I ended up just painting this because I couldn't do a Bob Ross thing. Here's my memory box. It has every good and terrible memory stuck in here, so I don't open it at all. This is just a glasses case, two real lemons meant for decoration and for eating later, tissues, and then this really extra card that costs like $17 from HomeSense, and my first meet and greet. Then you have this really big desk lamp that doesn't need to be here, a USB desk fan that I've never used yet, iPad, my journal, a pen for it, and inside the journal it's all made from recycled paper, that's why it's brown. Reusable Starbucks cup, this is meant to hold my glasses. See? Paper clips, binder clips, Tylenol, glue sticks, scissors, eraser, calligraphy pens, Muji pens, double-sided tape, a bunch of whiteout, my stapler. This is the water bottle I take everywhere with me. Lip balm, chai tea, because I'm sick right now. Notepad right under, because I don't have a coaster yet. This is a mouse pad that they just gave us here. Bluetooth mouse for my MacBook. And under it is a holder, because sometimes I don't like it when my thighs get hot. And it has a retractable mouse pad right here. And under this is just extra stuff like AirPods, battery, more notepads, so we got hard drive, chargers, hard drive, adapters, SD cards. This is an extra part of the desk in case you need to eat food. Underneath I have calculators, storage, more college stuff, stickers that I don't know what to do with yet. Here, we don't talk about that. <laughs> and under here, I have all my paint supplies that I brought. This is kombucha that's brewing right now. And underneath we have a yellow electrical cord that's being extended by another electrical cord because it's not long enough. That's the yellow trash can. Going to the bed area, I have my cactus tapestry, my two decorative pillows, my backpack that has so many pins and was so expensive. Underneath the first drawer is all my electrical supplies. These are more string lights I have to hang up soon. I have a deep pillar for my clothes. My good camera's in there, my camera backpack my microphone. Second drawer, you have even more storage. I have Monopoly, Cards Against Humanity, Clue, empty spray bottles in case anyone needs them, empty containers in case anyone needs them, travel skincare kit, sure that doesn't fit me, even more skincare. These are gay toothbrushes that are biodegradable that I saw on Instagram. Don't know why I bought them still. Next up, you have all my clothes. These are short sleeves arranged by color, long sleeves arranged by color, all my pants, underwear, sleeping clothes. These are mainly cleaning supplies and more storage, so I have an extra set of bed sheets, another towel, lemon detergent, stain remover, dish soap, my dryer buddies, these are puffer fish, an extra set of tissues, trash bags, waterproof bandages, and surface wipes. Then we get to the food. All right, so Ziploc bags, tin foil, Tupperware, more cheesecloth, coffee, sugar, Pocky, and a shitload of chips and snacks I don't even eat. Too much ramen, nuts, all my tea bags. One set of rice in case I need it. Inside the backpack isn't much stuff. I mean, I just carry this around with me because I'm a mom. If anyone ever needs Advil, Altoids, nail clipper, travel deodorant is in here. Solid perfume, my metal straw. I have napkins on the side and my extra pair of glasses on the side. Now, out of privacy, I'm not gonna show the rest of the room because that's my roommates. But this is split in half for us. So I have not one, but two cat mugs, a case, for my glass boba straw. Yes, 
this is a thing. There's also a couple metal straws in there that they gave us. I stole that bowl from my parents and these plates. Coffee grinder, coffee filters, Honey Nut Cheerios, soy milk. This is for smoothies and that's a French press back there. This is a shower caddy and yes, it's all the way full. Makeup, makeup remover, face mask that just goes right here with all the other face masks. Dry shampoo, more mask, body lotion, even more mask. A yellow headband. Do I even use it? No. I brought my hair dryer with me. I brought even more storage cubes with me and that is what we call a steamer. This is literally a tiny iron that I brought. Then on the side, I have some command hooks that we weren't allowed to put up, but I didn't listen. This is a tote bag. It says coffee, hug in a mug. This is my face towel. Up here, I have a moon mirror that I'm planning on putting right there. Say hi. That's kombucha bottles. This is where I set up my meth lab. Vitamins, deodorant, cologne, more cologne. This is my calendar that I did not nail in. My parents did. Those are some of my friends. That's a magnet telling me when to make the kombucha. And these are chalk pencils that I use to organize my life. Currently, it is Friday, September 6th. So yeah, that's what my room looks like as of now. Okay, so I couldn't talk at this point because my friends were sleeping, but basically this is my wardrobe where all my button-ups and jackets are. Those are my underwear belts and then under that I have shoes um, these are like three of my pairs I have two others above it in black boxes but under that part I have all these socks <laughs> and in the shower I have a set of lemon shampoo and conditioner and lemon soap just for you. Oh, yeah. thank you. So I am Frederick's plant babysitter. So we have his plants here. <laughs> Unnamed Poe babies. Uh, Adam and Steve, these two. <laughs> Chad, Brad, and Doug. Pearl. Pearl. Mother Mary. Mary. Thank you for taking care of them. I forgot to mention this, but I just got this back. I have a yellow Polaroid and a yellow blanket. This is fertilizer for my plants, and that's a tablet for editing. Yeah, so... This is my room. You can see the difference between a gay guy and a straight guy right now. I don't know who actually likes watching room tours, but my friends wanted to see what my room looks like in college. I know a lot of people who are going to NYU probably want to know a tour of what Othmer Hall looks like. Because I want you to know, you can make any dorm room look nice. Half of the stuff I've had since sophomore year. So, that's all I have. If you guys have any requests on what videos you want in college, I'll probably do like a vlog of what a week looks like or what a month looks like. It's definitely different than high school, I will admit. But yeah. I'm a New Yorker now. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more amateur below average videos. Thank you to my roommates for dealing with me. I literally just kicked my roommate out and he's in the other room right now. And thank you to Othmer Crackheads. Y'all are cool. Hopefully I'll see you next week with another college themed video. And as of now, I'm gonna go to Manhattan. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three.